Hi, I'm Mrs. DeLuca. I'm Mrs. McCoy. And we are this year's Student Council co-advisors. In a few minutes, you will be hearing the speeches of those students that are running for Student Council officers, President, Vice President, and Secretary Treasurer. We would like you to listen carefully to everyone's speech and make the best decision that you think as who would be representing you as a student body for your student council. Please vote today. Thank you. Thank you. I, William Stolberg, was elected to be Student Council Secretary. I have been given this serious consideration. Do I even think I would be good for the job was my first thought, because I am certain the other nominees would also do a good job. But I personally think I will do a great job. My dad always says to be your own toughest critic, and I have taken that advice. And now I know I will be dedicated a dedicate, dedicated class secretary. My second thought was realizing, as a school community, we can accomplish a lot. I mean, just look at what we have done so far. Look at all the food drives we have done, all the candy drives, and even cell phones for soldiers. But I think we can accomplish a lot more, perhaps maybe a fundraiser for the homeless. Or maybe we could all bring in cat, cat or dog food for the animals at the SPCA. And I am willing to work with anyone to get these done. And I want to take a bigger role in that. I am completely willing to help if you vote for me, William Solberg, Student Council Secretary. My name is Max Sonnerbland. When I went to my first, well, really anything, since when I'm old enough to care about it, I would always bring a notebook. My first school day, dance, thrill of the world, beach cleanup, meeting, test, race, Spanish class, I've always had my notebook with me. I always feel that it makes me more prepared, even if there isn't anything to write down. I always have one. Sure enough, having my notebook has paid off. I'm the only person in the student council that has taken notes. If someone else wins this election for secretary treasurer, and there are a lot of amazing candidates, then that duty may be passed on to someone else. However, I've been the default, and I've done well. The only two problems that I see are, first, my lateness in sending out my notes, and second, I've received a complaint that my handwriting is messy. My solution to the first problem is to make it a routine to send out my notes every Monday as soon as I'm out of student council. And then my second solution is to type out my notes before they're sent out. Those are the two problems that I have found and been told about. And I encourage all that use my notes to tell me of any problem that they have found. I know that this is a difficult choice. I think that everyone running for secretary treasurer would make a worthy candidate. Thank you for your time. I wish all of you the best of luck in choosing who will represent our school. I also hope that I've shown you that I'm a worthy candidate, and I hope that I've earned your vote. Hi, I'm Molly Frost, and I'm going to be running for Secretary Treasurer of Hamden Academy Student Council. I'm running because I think it's a good position for me, and I would be fit for it. As your Secretary Treasurer and as part of a wonderful team here, working together, we could improve our school's community so much. Obviously, since I'm a student here too, I understand the problems that all students have here. In the Student Council, we help fix those problems for everyone. Thanks for listening and please vote for me. Trustworthy, dependable, organized, helpful, these are some things to look for in your student council representatives. As your secretary treasurer, I could be just that. I would be committed to organizing events like dances and spirit days and food drives. I'll help collect ideas for things and events as well. I'm a very per busy person with sports and activities, but that doesn't stop me from doing well in school. I'm used to handling a bit busy schedule, so I'll be able to do whatever I need to do and stay committed. I'm a nice, helpful, smart, supportive, and funny friend too. I think I'd be a great secretary, and if you agree, vote for Charlotte Kugelitis. I am Maisie Snell, I'm in the seventh grade, and I am running for vice president of the student council. Vice presidents help out the president, and that is what I will do, and more. I want to be vice president because I was in student council last year and I loved organizing events at school and helping the Hampton community too. 
This would be a huge opportunity for me to be a bigger part at this school. You can tell me your ideas and anything you want student council to know. You can count on me. Help me be your vice president. Vote for me. Thank you. Doesn't everyone love a good bake sale? I know I do, but I can't bake. But my grandmother can make some pretty good brownies. My name is Lily Ladd, and I'm running for vice president of student council. I'm a seventh grader that has a lot of drive and determination. I participate on Shark News, such as being a reporter and an editor. I also helped out a bit with the Thanksgiving drive last year, and I'm working on it this year too. Every year, I've tried to do something to help out the school. I know I wanted my voice to be heard, and I want your voice to be heard too. Our voices do matter. Thank you so much for considering me to be the vice president. Hi, my name is Lauren Muldoon, and I'm running for vice president of student council. I love Hampton Academy, and I have so much to offer to the school, the community, and all of you. I'm very open-minded. I'll take in any ideas that you might have. I will listen to all of the students and staff in the school. And I will also take suggestions that you might have about making the school and community better. I'm very helpful. I'll put others before myself and I'll take time out of my schedule to be committed to student council and the school. I'm experienced as well. I've started a good citizens club at Marston that teaches kids about community service. I'm a leader to them like I will be a leader to all of you. Lastly, I will take this job seriously, but recognize that everybody needs fun. People know me as fun-loving and always looking for new opportunities to make the school a great place to be. I will do my best to make it fun for everyone, because when everybody has fun, they get the job done. I see the new school as a larger I see the new school as an opportunity to grow. A larger gymnasium allows for more school-wide events, such as teacher versus student volleyball game. We usually do it by grade, but imagine doing a whole school-wide championship where the winning teams of each grade compete against all the teachers and the whole school watches. We could also do more school-wide activities such as community improvements, highlighting veterans and Memorial Day assemblies, more school competitions, and pep rallies to show school spirit. Lastly, we can do more school recognitions. For example, we can recognize the Shark Award winners as a whole school. My vision is not the experience of the past but looking forward to the future. As Martin Luther King Jr. once said, if you can't fly, then run. If you can't run, then walk. If you can't walk, then crawl. But whatever you do, keep moving forward. Thank you for your time and please consider voting for me, Lauren Muldoon for Vice President. Hello, my name is Emily LeBlanc, and this year I am running for student council president. A student council president is a person who listens to all the students of all grades at the school about things such as improvements on the school and ideas to make your time at school better. Then the president brings those ideas to the rest of the student council to try and figure out a way to make those things happen. Although that is not the only thing the student council president does, it is the most important thing for you to know and to consider while voting. In order to get your vote, I will listen to you and bring your ideas to the student council. I will make sure that no voice is ignored and I will ensure that all opinions are valid. I plan to try my hardest in order to make sure everyone feels they have a significant role in deciding what goes on at our school, considering we are the ones that have to come here for over 35 hours a week. I want to make sure that all students are aware that they are equal in voicing their ideas. If you vote for me for student council president, I will make sure all this happens and more. Hi, I'm Avanish, your maybe future president, and I'm here to convince you to vote for me because I'm going to do what a president should do. Listen to you. You, right here, sitting and watching this. Quite literally that. I'll do what you want, help you with what you need, and represent you. Being a president isn't just for the title. The president of the student body will represent you and everyone else around you. And I believe that I have the full potential to do that. There's so many other candidates that can do this, but I think I have even more potential. I think you should vote for me, because I'm Avanish, and I'll do what you want.
Have you ever mentioned to your friend that you wish the school had this or didn't have that? Ever wanted to share an idea or thought but didn't have the means to do so? Well, now you can. With our new student government, we are able to take ideas from not only our representatives but from the student body and turn them into plans. However, we need a president that will listen, will act, and be open-minded to every student and idea that crosses their path. A president that will work endlessly to make Hampton Academy a better place for all. And that's why I'm here. I want to see our school grow and flourish with creative ideas. As president, I would work towards more fundraisers for good causes, making our school dances exciting and financially successful, and acting on ideas that come from you. Let's make this school year great together. Thank you.